Klingon intelligence has completed its analysis of the data you recovered in the Nopada system. The Iconians are using the Tal Shia as a way to influence the Romulan Star Empire. Their persecution of the Remans is directly related to this. They will hound the Remans until they are broken, or until they are too suspicious and beaten to ever trust an ally again. This is a coward's way to wage war. Are they too afraid to face us directly? We will stop these machinations now. Then we will see if these demons are brave enough to show their faces. The data you recovered indicates that Hakif is operating out of the Brea system. Long-range sensor scans suggest that there may be a major Tal Shia installation there. We want you to infiltrate this system, apprehend Hakiv, and destroy the Tal Shiar base. Hakiv must not escape. He may be the only person who knows how extensive the Iconian influence in Romulan space is. Right. This gentleman is the com uh, a senior officer in Rom uh, sorry in Klingon intelligence and we have been doing a variety of work for him um, in the sidelines of the great events that's going on in the galaxy at the time um, so realistically his wish is definitely our command so we'll accept this mission and we'll get what go on with picking up the new ship Hakiv had an Iconian gateway. Obisek was right. Hakiv had a working Iconian gateway? Finally, the pieces of the puzzle start to fall into place. We know that the Iconians survived the destruction of their homeworld. Now we know that they are active in Romulan space, and apparently using these gladiatorial combats as a way to test the species of the Alpha Quadrant. Klingon intelligence will analyze the data you recovered from Hakiv's command center. I must confer with Chancellor Jimpok. We have fought one ancient enemy and won. If the Iconians seek conflict with the Empire, we will destroy them as well. He certainly seems to have confidence. Interesting that all three uh, de de departments um, have roles to do with it. Which is probably absolutely right. So the vast majority of this ship's weapons are forward firing. Uh, in, a, in a very in a 45 degree forward arc, um, it does have some all round weapons, but they are relatively low powered compared to the others. Um, uh, but that's why being a manoeuvrable ship, it, it needs to be a manoeuvrable ship. So, let's take it into deep space, into... Well, that 
that's going, we will save those layout. So we have here three lots of forward firing cannon, got dual cannon. We have the Maelstrom torpedo. We have these are uh, turrets, um, all around coverage. Uh, our engineering consoles here, that uh, some of which uh, is about boosting um, uh, engine, sorry, weapon power, um, and some of which is about uh, resisting damage. The science consoles there are about actually shields. And these consoles here are about boosting damage to the disruptor cannons. Okay, so how far have we got? We're about halfway. So we, the, what we have here is that effectively uh, we recovered intelligence to say that there was a um, the, uh, the Telshar was working out of uh, free system uh, when sensor scans seem to have indicated that that is the case and we have been ordered to go in and uh, destruct the Iconians are an ancient alien race that at one point ruled just about the whole galaxy and um, they uh, uh, then disappeared from history and that history is a little woolly but uh, people are working on it because it appears that they are working now again after a long absence working again in the background system coming up on tactical enter the brace system we have arrived in the brea system Preliminary scans show automated defenses and a handful of Romulan ships, most likely Tal Shiar vessels. If we're going to reach that planet and beam down safely, we'll have to breach the Romulan defenses. The weapons platforms are probably short range, but we must disable the satellites and any enemy ships in orbit, or any away team that we send to the planet will be in immediate danger. Tactically, it would be wise to draw off the ships and engage them separately from the fixed defenses. The Zedenia is prepared to assist you in the attack when you are ready. This gentleman, Obisek, is the leader of the Riemann resistance that we first off asked to investigate and we've worked alongside a couple of times now. Right, okay, so here we go. Enemy vessel, you are in Romulan space. Leave immediately or you will be destroyed.
knows I can't resist it. game to do the to recover some of those uh, crafting goods if you fail the mini game you don't fail to get anything you just don't get as much <laughs> Not difficult. Right, so let's go ready for the beam down. Long range sensors show that Tal Shiar reinforcements are closing on this location. We must be swift. The Tal Shiar base is mobilizing. We need to hurry if we're going to have any chance to find Hakiv and his Iconian connections. I'll meet you on the surface. Right, beam down to the Tal Shiar base. Here we go. We have a problem. The Tal Shiar are trying to jam transporters, and particle leakage from the strange technology here is affecting our targeting sensors. My scientists can't identify the type of particles yet, but several of my troops are reporting in from different locations. Transporters are being diverted. You're on your own for the moment. My scans show that the Tal Shiar have secured some areas of this base with force fields. You'll have to disable them or find ways around them. Hakiv will be somewhere well defended, but we have him cornered now. So it charges at critical areas and find Hakiv. So, so I'm having some trouble getting all of uh, through all of the interference. Away team members are reporting in from all over. I'll try and keep in contact, sir. And we'll organize. We're, we'll organize a beachhead team where possible. Once the team assembles, they may have to use soft site transporters to provide you with reinforcements. Right, should have checked this before. So I've got a pistol and I've got my melee, that'll be fine. It looks like the Tal Shiar are using force fields and construction supplies to choke off access points. They must have detected us in orbit and put their uh, base on temporary lockdown, emergency lockdown. Some orbits, our orbital scans show that a lot of buildings have catwalks and balconies. We may be able to use these to get over some of the walls and barricades. Some of our tactical teams may be to the surface with beachhead equipment. We may be able to get support from them. Romulan ships will be here soon though. We have to raise the uh, Durong's shields. Uh, you won't be uh, able to use transport to fight with honor, Captain. So, Captain, you're on your own.
uh, Romulans are massing reserves in multiple locations around the base. The Romulans in synchronous orbit, Captain. You can provide fire support if you supply target coordinates. Call for orbital fire from high vantage points. Okay, you can go for that. Ah, well, there we go. There's a, a location that uh, suggests that we. going in. Haki's in the promenade outside the building, the southwestern location, separated by one of those force fields. There's an access gate on the walkway, but you'll need to disable the force field. Okay. Create, if you create a massive power draw with one of the larger facilities, it should be temporarily disrupted the field. If you get fucked over uh, on the rooftops, it'll give you a better advantage.
down and then up to that rooftop, okay? ID uh, chip to bypass the security lock on the access gate in front of the central plaza. Parkeed is directing defense operations from there. Not in a secure bunker. few minutes the ship has started to suffer a series of cascading system failures. Uh, nothing serious yet, but it's looking like we're being hit by an Iconian virus. We'll purge the computer memory and store from our guys. It'll take some time. We'll continue to have system problems until the work is complete. Even if it works, our keep can simply send um, another virus our way. You need to find and destroy the Iconian computer. Okay. None of this matters. We just need to open the gate, bring the Iconians here, and it will be over. That was Taurus's plan, too. And you saw how that ended for We finally have the opportunity. Victory is within our grasp. You call this victory? It's over. This is done. You're done. No! We can still finish... You're the cause of all of this! You don't even understand what you walked into. You're too late to stop it. A lonely being such as yourself cannot even recognize the true power the Iconians represent. And that any future will depend on a place in their regime. All you've done is arrive in time for the end of existence as you know it.
Fool! I can call as many reinforcements as I need. Not now. My ship has put an interference field around this plaza. It's over. Intelligence wanted, but it's taking him off the board. Right, let's talk to the road to Riemann independence will be long and bloody, but this is a significant step. While I do not seek your approval of my methods, the crossing of our paths has been fortuitous. It's a pity you cannot aid us further in our liberation. You have my respect and the respect of my crew. If in the future we encounter one another again as allies, I would find this gratifying. I must return to the Zidini. I recommend you finish what you came to do and leave quickly. Okay. There's no text to attend to the <laughs> They're in a research room near the crawling yard in Lustia. Just back the way you came. Gateway. Okay, so to the class of the beam out. Whoa, the hole of that heart. So we have your coordinates, but we can't beam you up until the gate is destroyed. We're just get, getting strange interference. Prepare the bomb. No, destroy the large Arconia gate with an orbit bombardment. We'll target the, uh, the warhead yield. Um, then you should get to an area away from the blast. Safe area. on the mini map that there's a, um, a location that's still being ah it's the uh, other side of the gateway right we can ignore that so i'm looking that out we're at the bottom there it is it's now indicating So 
lot closer than I'd like to be to face on top of this. Sheila is here with her flagship. I'm trying to hold her off, but the Zedenia is no match for a ship of that class. You'd better return to your vessel quickly. Okay. Sheila's the empress of the Romulan Star Empire, who the Klingons aren't technically at war at with, um, but at the same point it's hardly uh, peace. And we have just destroyed one of the Tel Shiar, that's Klingon, sorry, that's Romulan intelligence effectively, um, it's bases, so uh, yeah. <coughs> and it was Sila that you saw talking to <coughs> Colonel Harkiv. Sorry, I've got a frog in the throat. So it sounds like we have a boss fight in space coming up. Enemies of the Romulan people, this insurrection will not stand. Your hostile action against a Romulan colony are at the war. Surrender now, and you and your crews will be treated fairly as prisoners. We have our work cut out for us. Right. So, defeat Romulan forces.
a ship coming through. Can't get a sensor lock on it. They're taking the Leoval in tow. They're heading back through the gate. Did Sela just escape, or was she kidnapped against her will? Regardless, this gate is deep in Romulan space. It's too risky to leave it in Tal Shiar control, even with Harkiv and the Empress gone. Right, yeah, absolutely with that. Agree with that. So we will balance up our power again, so not all power is going to engines. Sorry, not engines, weapons. Be sure. around here. There it is. And over here. Okay, so we will depart the system. If that was another Iconian gateway, that explains how they moved fleet, entire fleets. Uh, we have to get out of Romulan space and warn the home world. The Romulan threat may be over for now, but it looks like a bigger threat is looming on the horizon. The Klingon Defense Force will continue the search for Sila's vessel. But as of right now, we have no idea where the Iconians took her, or if she went willingly. I find this turn of events disturbing. Sila's absence will throw the Romulan Star Empire into even greater chaos. And we have found that the Romulans are at their most dangerous when they are wounded. They suffered a grievous wound today. We are not done with them yet. I fear the return of the Iconians could change everything. Okay, so... Congratulations, Captain. So mini rank up and Arco if it had an Iconian uh, Iconians are a threat to the Empire. I agree. The Iconians are a cause for concern. Their motives are still unknown to us, as are their plans for the quadrant. What we do know is that they desire chaos. Many of the problems we currently face can be directly traced back to their machinations. If they had not antagonized the Undine, would we be at war with the Federation today? They push us into battles that drain our resources. They fracture the powers of the Quadrant so that no one will be able to stand against them when they finally arrive. They must be stopped! I do not fear these demons of air and darkness. Let them come! The Empire will defeat them! Right, Dark 